She wakes up and takes up a surfboard Heads out, out from the seashore From the world in where she lives She's got no fears and worries at all right there Just the smell of salt water that's in the air And the sunrise Fly Girl Surfing and Sports TV is brought to you by Hair by Lisa and Mixie. Hair, nails, facials, waxing, and more. Your one stop beauty shop in Haliva. Surf Tech, leader in design and innovation. Surf and technology. Find the warehouse on Queen Street in Honolulu. Jerry's Pizza, serving pizzas, subs, salads, and desserts. And now with delivery. If you're looking for the best pizza on the island of Oahu, come to Jerry's Pizza in Wailua. Jerry's Pizza has proudly been serving up pizzas since 1988. Stop settling for second-rate pizza and treat yourself, your family, or your team, and sink your teeth into the best pizza in all of Hawaii. Make Green Tea Hawaii a part of your healthy lifestyle with over 200 health benefits including weight loss, increased energy, and lower your stress. Call now for your special Kama Aina rate. Drink a little tea, lose a little weight. Can it be so easy? Aloha, I'm Jody K. Aloha. Welcome to Fly Girl Sports TV. We're here at the 2014 Surfer Pole Awards on the red carpet. We have some great interviews for you today, and we're also going to introduce you to some awesome athletes. We caught up with Tatiana Weston Webb, who won the WSL and made it to the World Tour 2015. We meet a surfer and denim designer from Amsterdam, and we cruise to Makaha for some tandem pro action and catch up with the world champs and more. For now, let's see what's going on at Surfer Pole. Okay, aloha, we're here with Coco Ho at the 2014 Surfer Pole Awards. Congratulations on being here and congratulations on all your QS wins lately. Thank um, you. Tell us about your season. Um, yeah, it's definitely been an interesting year for me. I haven't done as well as I could have on the tour, but um, I was able to win two QSs and that kind of like revives you at the end of the year, you know? It's like I wasn't in the top five or whatever, but um, I was able to still get some wins and some people go a whole career with not even a victory, so I'm going to take it in stride and, and um, yeah, work towards next year. Okay. She's definitely a champion already, champion for sure. Um, what are you looking forward to most in the next season in 2015? Next year, I'm, I'm just looking to work on so many things, like finishing this year, I knew what I could already fix, and um, it was kind of just like that point where I was like, oh, I'm a little too late to, to restart my whole year, but I know what needs to be done, and um, I feel great, and I have a the amazing support. Um, so yeah, I'm just really looking forward to the start of 2015. Nice. Well, congratulations, Sean. Everything. You look absolutely beautiful tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're wearing? Because, dang, girl, you look good. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm kind of going for the Ariana Grande vibe. <laughs> um, I've never paired midriff, so it was kind of a first time. But yeah, I'm stoked. And I have a neoprene uh, skirt on, so it's kind of awesome that it's like that wetsuit vibe. And um, it shows how much surf is affected and influenced the fashion world so I'm really stoked to actually be wearing it and uh, my brother was laughing he's like is that a wetsuit but well, I'm you, stoked you look <laughs> totally natural totally gorgeous what do you prefer to be just in your bikini surfing or all dolled up glammed up a little bit um I like getting dressed up I'm a girl it's only a few times a year so I'm stoked um I love that I can get pampered and ready in my room and uh head out the door and be at Surf and Pulse, so. Nice. <laughs> well, congratulations, good luck tonight, and um, aloha. Thank you. Thank you, Coco. Thank you. All right, have a good night. Spartans are coming. Over three miles and 15 obstacles. Think you have what it takes? Register now at SpartanRace.com. 
Our beaches around the world need our help. Surfrider Foundation and Hawaiian Island Creations teamed up to spread a little aloha at Cayenna Point. Over dust and been to waste Got loaded with a bunch of flakes Inauthentic fakes I've made a ton of mistakes Could have abandoned me Locked me up and thrown away the key When I first got here I started with a little campfire here because there's a bunch of glass and I didn't want people to stand in and apparently people have been uh, using this space for quite a while I think burning pallets we literally have probably 20 pounds of nails and glass that we pulled out of this one spot and I think uh, for the next beach cleanup someone needs to bring a really big magnet uh, it'd be a little quicker to pull all these nails out of here but yeah uh, certainly not very fun for you know when the wind is of the right is, coming from the right direction you get some great surf out here last thing you want to do is run across the beach and step on some glass or nails um, Surfrider has five chapters in Hawaii and uh, this is the Oahu chapter and we have monthly beach cleanups and, and events and uh, it's just a great way for us to kind of work with the community local groups we have great sponsors like HIC and Revolution Sun who come out and help us and sponsor each cleanup. Um, and so yeah, we do these about once a month at various beaches around the island. Every year this is when the world's best surfers gather on the North Shore and so we thought it would be a perfect time to have a beach cleanup uh, at, and then take care of one of our more local beaches here at Mokolia. Oh, I mean, it's super important because, you know, Mokolia, this side is, is some of the most beautiful parts of the island, you know, so um, to come down here and do a beach cleanup is really awesome and obviously, you know, like you know, like he said, it's kind of forgotten down here, but it is so beautiful, so it's good to get down here and clean it up. The kids all know that surfing's not the only thing that's going on in their lives. And uh, fortunately, the surf wasn't that good today, but uh, they're all interested to come down and help out. You know, this is the environment that we play in, and whatever trash is on the beach goes directly into the ocean, generally, or you know, you might step on something when you come in, and it was really important to the kids to come down and, and clean up an area and make a difference, you know. I'm blown away by the amount of trash we found in this small area. It came out to, I think, a thousand pounds. They just weighed it up, and, you know, we were even maybe a half mile area. Uh, it's quite a lot, you know. There's a couple camps that were down here and things like that, and we found a lot of uh, burnt pallets and things on the beach where there's rusty nails and lots of broken glass, you know, lots of foam and lots of plastic. And that was, uh, it's an onshore area generally, so some of the stuff might blow in from the sea, but a lot of it was just left here by people that have come and, and not taken their rubbish with them when they left. So it was good to be a, a part of a solution today. In the boat. Awesome. Up next, we have the Women's Maui Pro. And I just, I don't know, I love it. I love coming here and, and uh, although we're in Hawaii, we're kind of a little bit away from all of the, the tension and hecticness in, on the North Shore of Oahu and it's like our own little sanctuary to come to Maui and, and just, I don't know, it's, it's magical. It truly is a magical wave and I love surfing it, especially with only one other girl out. <laughs> it's definitely a highlight. It's like the reward at the end of the year. The ASP has not had a women's WCT in Hawaii for a few years. With Chris Amore's help, Target stores to the rescue. Target is opening a new store in Maui, so perfect. Honolulu Bay, north of Kapalua in West Maui, is also perfect. Going into Maui, there were three contenders for the world title. Stephanie Gilmore, Sally Fitzgibbons, and Tyler Wright. Carissa and Malia Manuel were slightly behind. Carissa won the event, Gilmore the title, and Manuel, 21 years old, ended up fifth for the year. The Kauai surfer is known for her smooth style and power turns. She won the U.S. Open at age 14, was Rookie of the Year in 2012, and qualified as winner of the QS. Another Hawaii title hopeful. I was 
so anxious to catch every wave out there, but uh, you know, you just have to wait for the good ones and you know, play the competitive game. Um, but I was just like a little girl in a in this candy store, just like wanting to catch every live out front, drives off the bottom, a huge top turn arc into this inside track now. She goes up for another high lining cut back and she'll hit the lip on this next section, blowing the tail and releasing it with that layback fashion. I'm just so happy um, just to have my whole family's here and it's a Target event, it's in Hawaii and I was just saying on, on the jet ski, it's been kind of a rough couple last events and I was pretty bummed on myself and it just feels really good. Just when I thought it would end, you're at it again. Just when I thought it would end, you're at it again. Because of this lady here and this lady here and Sally Fitzgibbons who has just fought so hard all year um, and by far this has been the hardest world title race ever in my career um, and yeah incredible incredible Yay! surfing by everybody um, you know it, it's so cool to to be able to travel the world with all of these girls and and do what we love to do but to compete and um, and really push each other and I'm so inspired by every single, every single time I watch these girls surf it inspires me to go out there and, and push harder and go bigger and just be a better surfer so um it's the ASP World Champion. The dance party has already started. Aloha, we're here with Mahina Maeda and Lisa. Congratulations for just making it out here tonight. Tell us, ladies, how does it feel to be here at Surfer Pole 2014? Um, I think it's amazing. You know, I get to see a bunch of the pro surfers come here, and um, I get to share the same exact hobby as them, and I'm just loving how everybody looks so pretty. And, um, you know, dressing up once in a lifetime is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> and you both look beautiful. What are some of the highlights for you, uh, Alessa? Excuse me. <laughs> um, nothing much. It's just good that we get to finish the World Tour season for the women, so it's just great to come here and, you know, dress up a bit and relax and enjoy, you know, Hawaii and everything. So, yeah, it's great being here and hopefully get some good waves. Yeah, always good waves here on the North Shore. Can you girls tell me a little bit about what you're wearing? You both look like funky, <laughs> fresh, but chic and definitely look Looking good, ladies. Tell us about what you're wearing. Um, I wasn't really exactly planning on coming here, so I kind of threw something on really last minute. And, like I love the color black, so just kind of went with that black kind of outfit, and I just in love with these Jeffrey Cowell heels. So, it's <laughs> looking good. And what do you got? What are you rocking over here, Alessa? I'm rocking a three people crop top and an Andrea skirt with these little things. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it was not quite expensive, but I'm not messing. But no, I just thought it'd be cool to rock something different. Nice. Well, you both look amazing. Congratulations on all your accomplishments in 2014, and good luck to both of you. Aloha from Lenise Surf Center on the beautiful European island of Jersey. Best of luck, pipe surfers. Lenise Surf Center. Visit us on the beach. St. Juan's, Jersey. Aloha.
Up next, we will meet up with Swedish denim designer and surfer Jennifer Berta Molen. She surfs in freezing water in Amsterdam. I was um, born in Switzerland. My father is Swiss, my mom is Chinese, so I'm not really the typical Swiss person, as you can see. Um, yeah, I was raised, born and raised there, and when I was I think 14 years old I decided to become a fashion designer so I kind of um, yeah I knew that after high school or after is it college actually for you it's that I want to go to a fashion design university it's actually a private school so I moved to Munich and I studied there for three years and after the studies I was living as well for a few years in Munich where I was working on a small fashion brand so it was my first shop as a designer and it was it was pretty cool it was it's a small company it's a little bit more streetwear and denim direction so there I got actually all my first influence and all the input when you compare it like like the designing tops or t-shirt with tops and t-shirts it's all about the shapes the details and with denim it's more about fabrication washing there is a lot of you know yeah all the washes are still handmade and of course you still has to it still has to do about the fits and perfect fit is super important and the perfect fit comes together with the right fabric and it's as well how you place the details on the washing so it's more technical in this way this whole process that's already what i really like to do and so i'm kind of i don't say i'm there yet and there are always companies you like to you would like to work for but in a way what I'm doing for my job I can say I, I got there I got there where I want so that's really cool. a nice feeling yeah it's really I'm really proud of that of that at least yeah it was one one summer I said to my friends like hey why shouldn't we go surfing let's try it. so we went the three of us to Portugal and went to surf camp for two weeks and I really got hooked up and yeah since then, all my holidays, I try to go to surf, and I'm lucky that I even got a husband who is surfing. Actually, he's surfing quite good. <laughs> um, uh, it's uh, close to Amsterdam. Our closest spot is like 20 or 20 minutes, half an hour by car. It's called Wijk aan Zee, and yeah, it's kind of a messy day when you just think like super messy and no one wants to go out. That's like our normal conditions. <laughs> And of course, it's cold. It's really, really cold. And now, when I would go back home, um, I will have, and I have my six mil wetsuits with my gloves and everything on. So it's it's really tough out there. And as well, it's, you don't get a lot of surf. Hi, I'm Tatiana West. <laughs> Wait, the fly flew in my face. Okay. Hi, I'm Tatiana Weston Webb, and this is Fly Girl Sports TV. around the kitchen in your stockings and feel how it feels. Ba ba boom. Ba ba boom. I solidified my spot on making 2015 WCT and I'm so so thankful that I made it and I'm so excited for next year. It's my dream you know so to accomplish my dream is pretty crazy and yeah, here I go, can't wait. <laughs> yeah, but winning or uh, winning the GoPro challenge in Fiji I think kind of proved a point to people and um, it kind of showed what I could do and how I can go on big waves and not be scared, I guess. And um, yeah, that was just a good experience in itself to be able to surf those kind of waves with like top 17 and it's amazing. Like, I think this winter I, I'm just preparing myself training and doing as much as I can like physically to get myself ready until the next season starts and it's going to be a long leg in Australia in the beginning of the year so we'll see how it goes but yeah um, definitely not having a sponsor was really scary for me because you never know if you're really going to get that support and that backing in like mid-year or to the end of the year you know it's, it's always a question in the back of your mind but for me, I kind of didn't worry about that because I knew my surfing did the talking for me. So I kind of just let it happen and um, eventually Body Love picked me up and 
now I'm with them and they're an amazing team and they really care and support me and I'm just really happy to be with them. So thanks, buddy love. <laughs> We have Carissa Moore here. It's so nice to meet you. Congratulations on the, the Maui Pro victory. How was it out there for you? Uh, it was amazing. I had a great time on Maui. I think all the girls did. We, we scored some really good waves, and it's just such an amazing island that uh, we, overall it was an amazing experience. Nice. And Honolulu Bay, you got to love that wave. What do you think of the break there? Honolulu Bay is one of the best waves in the world. I mean, it's a perfect peeling point break. It barrels. It allows for a really strong, powerful turn. Um, so I think it's, a, it's definitely a challenge, but it's a lot of fun too. Nice, nice. And um, what are you looking forward to most in 2015? Are there any big changes in store that we don't know about, that you might know about, like behind the scenes? What are you looking forward to? Um, unfortunately, I don't have too much gossip for you, but uh, I'm really looking forward to 2015 and all the fun to come. Nice. And you look beautiful tonight. It's always fun to see the girls all dressed up. Your shoes are killer. We got to like check those shoes out. Tell us about those shoes and what you're wearing. Um, I got my shoes from Zara. Uh, my jeans are Hurley and my tops from Topshop. Um, Lego purses from Kawhi and Kissed by Chris. Um, jewelry. So it's local, local, local accessories. Nice. Do you prefer a glamour girly or just bikini catching waves? Definitely bikini catching waves. If I could, I would be in that right now. <laughs> Well, you look amazing. Congratulations on everything. In 2013, uh, 2013, no, 12. 2012, um, and I had just moved to Hawaii, um, pursuing my education, and we just met on the beach one day, Waikiki, and that the rest is history. <laughs> I was a gymnast before. Um, I competed in sports acrobatics, and then was on the U.S. team for synchronized swimming. So I knew that. I, I wanted to number one be in the water and then um, to find a sport that incorporated everything that I did, you know, tandem was kind of like the perfect marriage, so yeah. So, and you kind of have to when you're the girl, you know, like try, put all of your trust in your partner. I mean, that's how tandem works is if, um, if you don't trust your partner, it shows in the water. When you first become partners, you have to have more dialogue because you need to have the other one know what you're thinking and what you're going to do. But we spent quite a bit of time in the water now. She she knows when I'm gonna go for a wave. She can she can feel me egg beatering underwater and turning the board. She she can she knows when I when I'm ready to paddle, she knows when I'm ready to pop up. And even when we're gonna go into a lift, a sequence, she she knows where my hand goes, she knows what lift I'm gonna do. And I'll say it, but she, I'll say the wrong lift sometimes and she'll know where my hand is, she'll go into that right lift, you know. So with with the time and experience you put into it, you just it's just that chemistry that, that makes it go better. I think, it, I think for myself anyways, it's, this is like a sacred place for me and we don't get out here enough and just the opportunity to surf it with all its history and with all the, all the talent that comes out from here, both in the, both in the past and present. Um, and then their, 
I just resonate well here because it's creativity. Everything that's crazy new that comes out in surfing seems to be born here and then goes out from here. So just to surf a contest here and have this backdrop and this beach full of people and it's it's a real blessing. It's all right. Move a little closer. Move a little closer. Closer to me. <laughs> closer to me. <laughs> God, that was so long ago. Actually it was Kathy. Yeah. I was tandeming with yeah. John DeSoto and then he got into politics and then Brian was there. <laughs> right after high school, I think, after 79, so I can't date what year and stuff also too. But, um, you know, it's funny because I, I look back, right, and, and as a young guy back then, you think that you're not strong enough and all the egos come up and you're thinking that you're not skillful enough, but once you learn one move and you be good at one move, then you kind of like progress into something more, something more. And I think in a tandem world, it's really about sharing. You learn one thing from somebody else and somebody else teach you. And I think that's the real um, progression now in, in the tandem world where everybody kind of shares um, all their different skills and knowledge. Uh, we've been pretty lucky, I think. I mean, I don't have horrible moments. I think sometimes when it's really big and we're caught outside, that's kind of scary, but, or like that late drop today. <laughs> <laughs> But I think we practice routines, but then you have to be flexible because depending on the wave or what happens out there, things change last minute. And I think that's an advantage of being partners for a long time is you can make those last minute changes. <laughs> you, you know what I'm so proud about, um, you know, saying world champions is the, the part of a lot of the world champions come from Hawaii, you know, because Chuck Eamon, right? Uh, Kalani, you know, from Kauai, Viera. And uh, who else we have? Yeah, that, oh Dwayne, did Dwayne go? No, no Dwayne's longboard champion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, I mean, having three world champions from Hawaii tandem, you know, especially I, I'm just super proud of that. Thanks for joining us here on Fly Girl Sports TV, where we always support our women athletes. See you next time. Fly